Hi, I'm Kate with Kate's Paper Creations, and I welcome you to this week's Casing the Catalog video, where I case the cards that you see pictured in the catalogs and try to show you how they were made. They may not always be exactly like the catalog, but it'll give you a basic idea of how those lovely pictures are made and um, shows you how useful the catalogs can be to inspire you to try other things. So today I am staying in the current Celebration catalog and I am once again featuring the um, Touch of Ink uh, stamp set which you can get for placing a $100 merchandise order anytime from January 5th through February 28th. And so I am going to be featuring this particular card right here, which you can see right there. Okay, so let's get started. Need to a couple of things. The base card is Whisper White Thick. It is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter to make an A2 greeting card. And it's going to be um, a side fold on this side. The next layer is Pretty Peacock and it is going to be embossed with one of the folders from the Greenery Greenery folders set. And I want to emboss all the way across and so I am going to, I don't want to do it all at once like this because I have to make it fit on my plate and, and go through. And if I do it like this, then I'm going to have to overlap and I don't want to do that. So here's what I did. I did it at about the halfway point and put it down like that. And for this particular die, this is not 3D, it's just a standard die. So you get the base plate, one cutting plate, the sandwich with the paper in it, and cutting plate number two. And let me run that through. I have to go off camera to do that, but I shall return. Okay, there was part one. Then I'm just going to push it over here like this. And close it up again. And I'm going to do that and do part two. And there it is, came out beautiful. All right, so there was that. And that is going to go onto the card front flat, just like this on the card front. So let's do that. And yeah, I think I want them to go that way. Okay. So then I've just got to line it up and it's covering the entire card front. So it's just a matter of getting it right on spot. There we go. There's the front of the card. There's something on there. There it goes. Okay, the next layer is a piece of Whisper White, and it is cut two and a, two and a half by five. And we are going to stamp this lovely leaf cluster from the in uh, a Touch of Ink stamp set with pear pizzazz. It may stamp off just a little bit, so let me get my scrap paper to put behind me so I don't mess up my... There we go. Okay. And I'm going to keep it down low here, just that leaf just barely on there like that. And then I'm going to do it again. Just right up here, and some of it will, some of it will go off the page and that's okay. Just like that. So there is the next piece. I am also attaching it 
to the front of the card with just regular adhesive. And it's about maybe three eighths of an inch. You can use these design if you've if you've embossed carefully and your embossing is straight, you can use it as your straight line. I came over one section's width and then the top and the bottom just spaced evenly from top to bottom. And there is that piece. Okay, the next piece is going to be Rococo Rose again. And I cut a piece three by three and then I um, cut out the layering squares and it's the one the one that scallop measures two and a half square so it's that die and then I started with the whisper white I started with a two and a half inch square piece and it cut down to the two and an eighth inch square and this is the square we're going to stamp again with the Rococo Rose and the butterfly outline I just had to turn it so it would fit because it's a tight fit. There we go. And then again, I brought in these little dots again. And this time, I stamped them off so that they were nice and faint. I'll get this on here. I didn't want them as bold as I did on that card I made yesterday. And how much you add or don't add, that's really just a matter of taste for you. And this is, I like what this looks like. Okay, this is attached to the background or the matte piece from the scalloped layering squares with just flat, with regular adhesive. Oops, some my adhesive got on the front. There we go. And again, it's just centered on there like that then this will get attached with dimensionals now in the picture in the catalog they cut a piece of pool party i believe it's pool party and they put their sentiment on it i didn't care for that color being mixed with this design so i didn't do that i'll show you what i did in a second this I'm just going to attach. You could center it top to bottom or a little off center. I think it has a better, better look. And I'm going to come in from the opening side of the card the same distance that I came in with this one, just like that. So then for the sentiment, I have a whole bunch of these. This is the many, no, messages die. And let me, See if I can get that for you. Hold on a second. In the new catalog, there's this set. It's a can be sold. It's sold as a bundle or separately, and it's many messages stamp and messages die, and it's all one piece. So all the words stamp all at once, and then this fits over those words and cuts them out. It's awesome because you can have a whole bunch made up ahead of time. I also took this and just cut it out of just plain white cardstock with no sentiments stamped. So I had a whole bunch of shapes that I could pull out and use anytime I wanted to for the card I was making. And what I do with that, see if I can find them. Um, I can't put my hand on it right now. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Sometimes I have too many things on my desk as I have a little tag box. And so this is just a standard stamping case and I throw all my extra tags in here. These are tags left over from paper pumpkin kits and some of these are the tags from this messages die and I just throw them in here. And then when I need a tag for cards I'm making, I can go in here and look and find what I need and I always have something ready to go. So just a tip that might be helpful to you. So this is one of those messages dies tags and I stamped the thinking of you with 
um, the Rococo Rose and I'm going to attach it with a dimensional as well. And because it's going to overlap, I'm only putting a dimensional on one side like this. Just like that. And there is today's Casing the Catalog card from page 12 of your uh, Celebration Catalog. Oh, I had one other thought. I was going to take, I had this strip left over from cutting this piece down, and I decided to see what would happen if I tried to emboss it. And so I put it in here and I lined it up on one of those strips in this embossing folder, just like that. And I ran it through and let me show you, it was actually kind of cool. So let me show you. Get it over here for you. It, it came out looking really neat. I, don't, I hope you can see that. It just got a portion. I centered it so it got a portion of those raised portions. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on the inside of the card just to carry the color over and that. And I'm going to use um, my Zig two-way glue pin. This is my this is my go-to glue pin. And I'm just going to run a bead of glue down the center. Oopsie. And I'm going to put this on here and I'm going to leave a little white edge. So mm, maybe less than a quarter of an inch away from the edge. Just like that. And it just carries a little bit of design to the inside of the card. Now we are done, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Do remember that I sell the products I feature in these videos, and I would love to have you shop with me. The link to my online store is in the description below. Thanks again for stopping by.